Hey guys, we're here with my good friend I haven't seen her in years. This is Melanie Peterson. Absolutely phenomenal singer. Sneak actress every now and then. You'll see her <laughs> pop up in some amazing things. One of my favorite series right now. We'll talk about that in a second. But tell us a little bit about yourself. We're, we're at the Dakota Tavern right now. Yeah. And what, what are we doing here? Well, we are celebrating the release of my latest EP, which is called We Got This Side 2. We Got This Side 2. Yeah, it's a continuation from We Got This Side 1. I thought I would uh, release my album in two halves. Okay. Just as opposed to just releasing singles, what it, fit, what it feels like people are mostly doing singles these days, but yeah. I kind of like the album idea, so I thought I'll just break it in half, and then I'm going to marry them into a vinyl. Okay. So I, I always like to try things a little bit different. Yeah, 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 I like to be outside of the box too. It really seems like the music industry has changed. They're, everybody's releasing one at a time. Yeah. And it just seems, it's nice to get back to roots. And that's what I always loved about your music. It's, you know, it's soulful and it's kind of folk, it's kind of country. It's It's got its own vibe always going on and I've always loved that. Um, like, what have you been doing? Like, you've just been kicking back and writing and, yeah. and recording? That's yeah, just writing, recording, projects. and the odd acting job. And, the, odd act, the, you know. the odd acting job, she says. So I've got Cliff notes. So she says the odd acting job. So recording, she's got 16 LPs and EPs. <laughs> 16. And as, as an actor, she's done nine major kind of labeled roles that you have on IMDb. Right. The standouts of which, if you remember Saving Hope, she was a, a radiation technologist on Saving Hope, which was really cool. It was a favorite show of mine and my wife's. But right now, she's on, she did a spot in a crowd as a loving mother on The Boys, Amazon Prime. Come on, The Boys, really? Yes. Like, what was that like? Um. It was good. It was probably the hardest thing I ever had to do because I had to get um, very upset yeah. because we were all going to die. Yeah. And I had a big moment with my daughter there. And um, but when you're on the set and they have um, they have the uh, the wind machine going and stuff flying in the air and everyone's really committed. You really feel like you're on that plane. They've even got the, the fake plane like moving and stuff. Yeah. So you really feel it. I was disturbed for weeks after oh, actually. Oh, I'm sure. I'm so sure. I, I would just like, and I didn't want to fly on the plane. And, you know, I have <laughs> since then, but I was just like, oh. Well, I don't want to give any spoilers away. If you haven't seen it, The Boys, Amazon Prime, absolutely phenomenal series. Yeah. I will give. It absolutely, it is violent, it is coarse, yeah. it's definite parental advisory. Yeah. Uh, don't let your kids go, it's not your average superhero show. <laughs> I'll say that much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've been around for like, I left Toronto in late 2012, and you were kicking around the music scene at that point for several yeah, years. I was just starting, I don't know, several years. A few years. I was at kind least. of just dabbling then. And I didn't really get serious until about 2015 or 16. Okay. I think when you and I met, I was still. We, we were both dabbling. Like we, full on. We, we met around the, the, the bar scene, the circuit scene, I guess, yeah. eh? Hey? And, yeah. and, and I was doing some open mics and different yeah. things at that point. And I was yeah. busking a lot in Toronto. <laughs> yeah. That's when I was hitting St. Lawrence Market all the time. Yeah. Busy Saturday yeah, yeah. mornings. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, now. It is Jeff Sealing music. So yeah. one of the big things we talk about all the time is music and, and health. So what are your right. thoughts? Like, uh, I talk about music and self-care. So, mm -hmm. you know, using music in your daily life. Do, what types of stuff do you do? Mm -hmm. do? What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I'll tell you something interesting. Uh, when, when I first started making music, um, my back used to go out all the time. And one time it went out so bad, I could not even walk, right? But I had rehearsal with my band, and I loved my big music with these guys. So I basically crawled there and uh, strapped on the guitar. I could hardly move. By the end of the rehearsal, my back was fine. That's how healing music is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I understand. I forgot about everything. I was standing straight. I was walking again. 
so yeah that's and you almost don't understand why yeah i think i let go of um all the thoughts because i think when your back goes up for example it's probably things you've been thinking and worrying about that stress and tension tightened it up right right I find I run to my guitar every time I'm stressed out and I yeah. need to release something. Sometimes I go play my guitar and I'll start playing something. And yeah, big tough guy, all that stuff, big go to And I'll start wailing <laughs> and bawling yeah, because I'm there. just so emotional. Mm -hmm. And I'll just start playing something. And the next thing I know, I'm like big crocodile tears on the top of my guitar. Oh. And I don't even know where it's coming from yeah. sometimes. You know, and it's just so healing. And like yeah. people who aren't musicians or play an instrument don't necessarily know how that feels. Yeah. But you can feel it with listening to your favorite yeah. song. And I think that's why people listen to music too, is because it heals them as well. Absolutely. Just as audience members. Absolutely. When I first moved to Toronto, um, my dad gave me a guitar. I didn't know how to play it. And I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> um, because he played and my mom played. And um, I learned a couple chords and I would be alone and I was never lonely because I would just pick up my guitar and start playing. I didn't know anyone in the city or anything and it just, I never felt better than when I was holding a guitar. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Now what are your thoughts in terms of like, you know, people can go beyond that and, and there's things like music therapy and things. Have you ever had, not, Obviously, not getting delving too personal, but have you ever had any kinds of dealings with that, or know people who have? Is that something you believe in? I definitely believe in it. I don't know anyone who's done it. I feel like maybe it's really good for especially troubled younger kids. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I yeah, I worked as a guitar teacher though, and I've had students who have come to me, and you can tell they're going through that teenager difficult stuff, but once they learn to play guitar, sort of sort of themselves out. Yeah. And music like, I music have lessons, this. putting music in a child yeah. in, in a child's path is always a big thing to yeah. help lift them out of a funk or even mm -hmm. just bring them to something where they can express themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and one of the, I guess one of the biggest things I want to ask, what do you do in your personal life with music every day outside of obviously you write songs and, and play with your band. What do you do with not your music? Is there something you do every day with other people's music as a routine? Yeah, as a routine, I do listen to other people's music. I pick a new artist every week. Okay. Put them on uh, Apple Music and listen to them, you know, in the spare time or when I'm getting ready or whatever. And I, and I try to take in their material and listen to their songwriting. And, explore new musicians that way like um, recently John Prine. Mm -hmm. I had heard a lot about John Prine but I had never oh, yeah. and then when I was listening to him I'm like wow he reminds me a lot of Bob Dylan. Yes you know what absolutely. I mean? Like a country Bob Dylan. Yes very yeah. much so. Um, Casey Musgraves, mm -hmm. uh, my friend JT, Julian Taylor who um, was up for a Best Roots album. Oh wow! I took in his album last week and a whole bunch of his stuff, and it's just like it's inspiring. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Good name drop. Good name yeah. Drop. No, definitely. Right. Julian Taylor. If you haven't yeah. heard, definitely a good name drop to uh, listen to. You're gonna be surprised. I was blown away. I'm friends with him. I did open stages with him. I've heard him play live, but when I heard his recordings, I was like, holy shit! He's got a beautiful voice. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what? It's not going to be long before you're going to have to get on stage and yeah. celebrate this brand new EP. So yes. we're going to have to let you go. Okay. We've been hearing some music in the background. We don't want to leave them out. Who's opening up for you? The Beresfords. The Beresfords. And they are an Aurora brother and sister act. Very cool. Yeah. So the Beresfords and Aurora brother and sister. That's Check who them you're, out. you're hearing in the background here. Yep. Check them out. Yeah. Uh, we're at the Dakota Tavern. Uh, front and back of this, you're going to see some shots. Definitely, I'm going to try and get out there and get some of the bears fruits too. Thank you okay, so cool. much. Good thinking. Thank you, Jeff. Definitely so good to see you. Yeah, me too. Melanie Peterson, check her out. She's all over social media, Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, Instagram, Miss, Miss Watermelon. At Miss Watermelon. Yeah. It's fantastic to see you again. Thank Thanks you so much. Yeah, see you again. See you again. Okay.